Ask Reddit by Simili05. What is the first thing you're doing if you traveled back five years? Get to an oncologist and catch my cancer earlier than I did. I hope you're doing okay. Sending my best wishes. F cancer. Hugging my daughter and taking her to the doctor and paying for the visit so we could catch the cancer sooner and hopefully get it treated so she wouldn't have died last year. She was only 30. Same here make my dad go in for his colonoscopy so we could have caught the cancer before it was stage 4. Spend more time with him and not take it for granted. I'm sorry for your loss. Divorcing. Funny. My first thought was to call off my wedding. Buying a house at a low interest rate. I did. But I'm in Canada and you have to renew your mortgage every few years. Mine is up for renewal this year and the rates are so high. My mortgage will be increasing over $900 a month as a result. I can't do it. I'm not sure of anyone who can 12 years of home ownership and this is where I'm at. I was sold a fucking lie. Deleted. More crypto. Spending more time with my mom. She passed a year ago. I'm sorry for your loss. I lost my dad nearly two years ago. He was my first thought when I saw this post. Fighting off future time police and future versions of myself trying to stop me from. Snipe lol gotta watch out for. Invest in Pfizer. I'd go with NVIDIA. Buy toilet paper. Before the shortage happened here in the US, a friend in Hong Kong posted that Chinese people were showing up and buying up all of the toilet paper. I decided to grab an extra package next time I was at the store, so I got one of the other big packages of Charmin that I usually get. The next time I was there, I grabbed another big package. A week later, the shelves were empty and I was sitting on a 2.5 month supply. Invest in Gomestop. I remember reading about Gomestop back then. I asked my husband can we invest in Gomestop I had an inkling of what was going on because of Reddit, but he's not on here. He said to Liam, no and that was that. Fast forward to late last year, when we sat down and watched Dumb Money. I pointed to the screen and said that cold have been us. Going for a different job. Oh man same. I've stayed in this toxic job for longer than I should have cause of the pay. Now I'm paying the price with my mental health. Put on the mini skirt I thought I was too fat to wear. Deleted. Visit with my dad, maybe go fishing, give him a big hug. And tell him how fucking cool he is. Putting the bottle down. I'm a CA and I have a brother 10 years younger who is nearly at my level already. I wish there was something I could say or make him realize what he's headed towards but I know there's not. I doubt I would even have listened to myself 5 years ago either. Breaking up with boyfriend, now husband. Would have saved us both a lifetime of pain same hug my mom sadly five years wouldn't be enough give me five years and five months and i'd do the same it still feels like last year i was shocked doing he math when you have kids under five this becomes a trickier question true answer is to mourn my kids because even if i had more they wouldn't be the same kids Fun answer is obviously smart investments and loads more fucking before having kids. I was going to reassure my younger self that she would have those longed for babies. But you're right that interference would change those babies, so fuck it, I would stand perfectly still holding my breath waiting to get flicked back to the future present. Nothing I could possibly do would be worth the risk of losing them. 5 years from this date? Avoiding the accident that paralyzed me. Peace. Tell my mom I love her. She knows, but I get it. 
I wowed both of my grandmothers one last time. I'd lost touch with them around this time in 2019, because my wife's chronic illnesses flared up at the time. Then COVID claimed one of them in April 2020, and because of restrictions, I never got to see my other grandmother before she passed in November 2021. I just wish I could tell them that one last time that I love them. Call my father who passed away two years ago. Go into the Huanan Seafood Market and tell everyone to stay the fuck away from the raccoon dogs. While you're in the area, swing by the Wuhan Institute of Virology and have a similar conversation. Saving more money would be a priority, knowing the economic downturn that was coming. I would warn people about the COVID-19 pandemic, hopefully saving lives and reducing the impact globally. I'd buy property in areas that I know will increase in value due to upcoming real estate trends. <laughs>